let's do a quick Trader Joe's haul because um, clearly I just went to Trader Joe's and on a Saturday, <laughs> I deserve a medal. But I figured I'd show you a few of the things that we picked up because I did pick up some new things. Usually the new things that I pick up are because of my daughter's request. <laughs> I'm not super adventurous when it comes to trying new things, but I'm gonna show you everything I got so I can put everything away. So we're just gonna start from left to right. Okay, as you can see, I've already had one. These are really, really good, these strawberry muffins. I asked the cashier, because if you have ever been to Trader Joe's, you know, they're a chatty group of people. I could never work there, because <laughs> I don't wanna talk to people that much. But um, I asked the guy because they had these like strawberry pancake mix on display. And I asked him if he's ever tried that. He said no, but he said he did love these. But I had already had these in my cart. So I was like, well, I'm already good on that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love them too. And I did. So those are really good. Um, highly recommend. Um, I'm pretty sure they're seasonal. I don't think I've ever seen them there before. So this is something that my daughter asked for. This, don't ask me to say that. I don't know how to say that. But um it's something that she requested, so I can't speak to that. My son, my daughter likes these too, and so does James, but I always get these. I tend to get these. If they're available in the store when I'm in there, I pick these up because they're good. I put them in the air fryer really, really easy. Decided to give this a try. I've never had this, but we're going to give it a shot. I am the one who eats these. This gives me like a hibachi rice type of vibe. It has a lot of soybeans, so if you don't, or edamame, if you don't really like that, then you probably won't you'll have to pick a lot of them out because there's a lot of them in there but I'm okay with that I normally just eat them but I get those for me so I got a couple of those for myself then we really like the chicken chow mein so that's like a meal option for us so I normally get two because we're going to feed all of us these are actually really good I don't like chow mein or lo mein in any other way like I just don't like I just don't but this is really really good speaking of really good I've actually never, but this is my, I've had, I've purchased these a lot of times, um, but the, everybody else loves this. I just haven't ever tried it. Like the seasoning, the flavor is good. I just never tried it because I don't really like, um, I have to get over the fact that it's dark meat. I don't like dark meat chicken. So in my mind, I have to just get over it. But next time I make it, I'll eat some, but we really do like this teriyaki chicken is really, really good. Served it with the, the steaming right rice is a really good option, but we can also do it with fried rice. We're doing that. Speaking of fried rice, I just picked up one because I still think I have some from the last time that I purchased a Trader Joe's haul, so I didn't need to get much more. Um, got these pot stickers for my daughter. Those are her requests. I normally buy those for her. I got these for me. I normally like these. I put them in the air fryer, um, just like when I'm working from home, a little quick lunch option for myself. These are really good. These Belgian waffles, so, so good. They're just so light and fluffy and uh, just really, really good. Really, really, really good. Um, this is something that new I'm trying and is the Cacio de Pepe ravioli. So this black pepper pasta with ricotta or ricotta and uh, pecorini cheese. So I, we really do like tortellini and ravioli and things like that. But I decided I was going to try this one because I haven't tried this particular variation of it. So I figured my, why not? It's pretty affordable. This is for Brianna. I got her a couple of those. She likes that. The French toast, delicious, delicious. Okay. These are really, really good. Everybody likes them. I like them. So it's a great, easy side dish. Um, got a couple of these, the blackened salmon. And I also got the salmon fillets. Now, let me tell you, I don't like salmon in this way. But Brianna does, and Jordan does, and the cashier at Trader Joe's also said that these are really, really good, super easy. He said, put them in the oven for 375, 15 to 20 minutes, and they come out perfect. The seasoning is great, so I'm going to try it. That's why I went ahead and got a pack so I could get four. So I'm going to try it, but I don't know. I just don't really like, I'm very, I'm very particular about... I just don't like salmon. I just don't. I like salmon in a different way. Like a salmon patty, a croquet, sure. But I I don't know. This is something that he also, the cashier, said this is really good. I This is for Brianna. She requested it again. It's everything that I got from Trader Joe's. Oh, no, it's not. I already put something away. I got this loaf of sliced brioche um, with the intentions of using it to make French toast. So I did get that, but that completes 
my Trader Joe's haul. Let me know if you have any thoughts on the things that I got. Let me know, have you tried those strawberry um, pancakes? Because my thing is, how does that work if I'm using maple syrup? That's where I get thrown off about different types of pancakes. But anyway, let me put this stuff up because I need to do that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aria, and I will say that this is a little bit different of a style of video for me. This was intended to be like a weekly vlog that turned into just a random vlog. So stick with me here, okay? So in these few clips, you're gonna see that I was making breakfast for my husband for Father's Day. His favorite item for breakfast when it comes to like sweet stuff is French toast. So I'm using the French toast that I, the brioche bread that I got from Trader Joe's and I'm making French toast. This is the Pioneer Woman's recipe. I don't go by the recipe anymore. I just kind of wing it and eyeball everything because I've made it enough times. But this is just how everything came together. Got some bacon. I'm gonna make some cheesy eggs for him. And we all enjoyed, it was very, very good. I normally like the Texas toast that I get from Walmart. They don't always seem to have it in stock. But I will say that this brioche was a great alternative. So if you like a nice fluffy French toast, I highly recommend it. I will leave timestamps down below because like I said, this is a pretty chatty vlog and it's kind of a little all over the place. So if you wanna to go to something specific based on what you see in the title, then by all means, check out the description. But thank you so much for watching. The best thing about being off today is by the way today is juneteenth um and i have the day off thankfully the best thing about being off today is that when i do have to go to work tomorrow i get to work from home because it's my regular work from home day i don't feel great i'm a little bloated but i'm hoping that a quick walk around target will help me feel better that along with some much needed water that along with some much needed water, I'm hoping will make me feel better because what I really want to do is, which isn't conducive to being bloated, I really want to do some outfit try on type reels and TikToks. Reels for my secondary Facebook page, which is a Facebook page I've had forever that I'm trying to make more fashion based. Um, I have like, 150 followers compared to my home decor Facebook page, which has like 87,000 followers. I'm trying to grow the other one. Um, and then I figured I could share that on my TikTok, but I also want to, so I have stuff that I have from Old Navy that I want to share that I already have that um, I just haven't opened up the packaging that I want to try on. But I also wanted to um, go try on a couple things at J. Crew Factory, but I don't wanna try on anything when I'm bloated. <laughs> Hi there and hello. Um, this is like a weekly vlog that isn't because it's just really just a bunch of clips that I'm gonna to put together. Oh, what's going on? He's backing up. I hope you're not crooked because I can't see you. Um, I'll be so glad when I get a camera. I the Like I legit really want a camera so that I can fully just see myself without looking off to the side the way that you do when you're Filming with your front facing phone camera on the phone. Oh my gosh. I feel like I should probably wait until maybe I have some caffeine after I've taken a shower. But I just got back from the gym. And on my way home, I was thinking, like, I really want to get back to vlogging and just sharing my life. My shoulder is like killing me. I'm gonna have to use my massager on it. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it this morning though, before I go to work. But man, that's why I got it, <laughs> that massager. Um, okay, there's a lot of things like I wanna share and like I wanna talk about, but like I haven't necessarily had the time to sit down and have these conversations. And I don't necessarily wanna get into the habit of trying to like vlog and like while I'm driving and stuff like that, like car chats are great, but I don't know. I don't wanna do too much. One of the things that I wanted to talk about just because it's like, it's what's going on in my life right now is like my weight loss and things like that. I feel like if you follow me on my stories, 
then you've seen a lot of this. But, and I, I felt like in my, I felt like eventually when I had like a real mark, marked, is that the word? You know, for a lot of time. A lot of times I feel like I have a strong vocabulary. And then I start talking and I'm like, is that even a word? Is that the right way to say that word? Like what? Anyway, I felt like once I actually had like a substantial, maybe that's a better choice of words, a substantial amount of weight loss that I would share like a video dedicated to that. At the same time, I kind of want to just like talk about how I'm feeling and things like that. And like, it's my vlog. So it's like, this is where I'm at. And everything that I share can't just be decorating because like, again, I have, I mean, my house is like just a little bit over 2000, it's like 2,100 square feet. Like how much decorating can one do? I have started trying to, so I have my Facebook, my main Instagram and my TikTok account, right? And those are all primarily home decor related. My TikTok is kind of a little bit of everything. I don't feel like you need to niche down on TikTok so much. So my home, my TikTok does home decor, but it also, I talk about weight, my weight loss journey. I talk about, I started sharing more fashion related content. If there's something that I really want feel passionate about enough to say something about when it comes to like a show that I'm watching or something like that, then I'll share that information, that kind of content. But for the most part, most of my content focuses around home decor because number one, I love home decor, but number two, like that's what I can, that's like what I'm comfortable with, you know, like I have not been necessarily comfortable with, you know, my body and how I'm looking like I'm pretty, but I mean, I don't have makeup on at all right now, <laughs> but I'm talking about like just overall, like being feeling overweight and not feeling good in my skin and stuff like that. But I have started to, over this past year with my weight loss journey, feel a little bit more comfortable in my skin and feel like I can start sharing like outfit and more lifestyle and beauty and things like that type of content. But I don't want to throw that into my existing Instagram and Facebook. Now, if you follow me on my Instagram, on my stories, yes, you would get that because my stories is like more me. I barely post on my feed, but I'm working on that. I'm trying to grow my Instagram account. So I'm working on trying to share more content in my feed, but that is like pulling teeth. It really is for me. And I don't have long to talk because I need to go and take a shower. But I had an original, I had another Facebook account that I kind of never really did anything with. It only has like a hundred. I think I just got it up to 200 followers. My main Facebook page has like 88,000 followers, just to put it into context here. And so I decided that it didn't make sense for me to start sharing like fashion and content on my Facebook homepage because that's a lot of, that's 80, I don't want to like put 80, over 80,000 people off by saying, oh, by the way, let's start talking fashion when you're here for home decor, you know? I decided that I'm going to start sharing more outfit and fashion related content on my Facebook. I have a second Instagram page, actually I have three Instagram pages, second Instagram page, I'm going to geared towards fashion and then of course I'm going to share that on my you my uh TikTok. If you're interested even though I really don't post on that uh, hardly it like ever. I'm trying to get better but I have not in a long time is I have a planner Instagram. I will put all this information in the description box. If you're by so chance to be interested in any of the above or all of the above. But one of the things that I've decided to start doing is I started sharing like any type of outfit hauls. I started when I go in to try on clothes, which is hard for me to do. I've decided to start sharing, unless it's like bathing suits, because that's, that's a no, 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 no. I've started kind of sharing like outfit try-ons and making like reels and TikToks for that. And then, so I decided yesterday, I made this decision <laughs> that I'm going to try to make myself to get more comfortable with it because it's not easy. But to me, like, I think if you're real, like if you have to get dressed to go somewhere, you can film that, right? Now, I'm not talking about starting off in my underwear. I don't like that idea. I don't, I don't really like seeing it on other people. I don't care how, 
how good your body looks. I don't want to see you start getting dressed from the very beginning. I don't think that's necessary. We all know how to get dressed. I can start definitely doing like whether it's just outfit of the day and just taking video of me in my outfit and how I'm accessorizing it or me actually talking you through like this is from here, this is from here, you know, like Alabama Rush style. And I think that's also going to be easy for me to be able to give like a, a progression to be able to look back. Because when you are working out and working on losing weight, but you don't really take pictures of yourself that much or take videos of yourself, um, it's kind of really hard to like get, like if you wanted to look at like a progression, it's kind of hard to do that unless you're intentionally. So this is my way I'm intentionally doing it. I say all that to say, I've been on this weight loss journey. Um, I have don't know if I've mentioned it here on my YouTube channel, but I've been on Wagovi and Wagovi is the non-diabetic version of Ozempic. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of thoughts about that. I'm not really sure as to why, but you know, whatever. I started Wagovi in April of 2023. I was borderline. I think my doctor said I was pre-diabetic, but I was not into the category of being diabetic. Therefore, I did not qualify for Ozempic. So put me on Wagovi and um, I was able to bring down my A1C levels and my cholesterol was high at the time. So I was able to bring everything down. That was really great. But I haven't had like that substantial like weight loss that a lot of people have had on these types of medications. And after it's like stalling out for like several months, I feel like between December and now, well, December and let's just say May, December and May, December 2023 to May 2024, I have been within the same two pounds. And since then, I started working out at the gym in February and see the difference in my body in that capacity. I can feel how my body is changing. I can see like as I'm able to add more weight and like have more endurance and things like that, like I'm feeling those changes but my weight is not changing and my clothing size is not fully changing. Like, yes, it's nice when something that didn't fit before fits now, that's great. But I can't say I went from a size 18 down to a 14 and there's no way that I can wear a 16 because it's falling off of me. You know what I mean? Like there's not like significant big changes. When I first started with Govi, I was a 20, a size 20, 22 because 20s were getting too tight 2x um and now i am an 18 16 i say more 16 because most of my size 18 things are too big but it really just depends on what it is so i'm an extra large in most things that require in that size range some things like from target i might go up to extra extra large just because i don't want to feel too tight anyway so when I saw my doctor in May or June, I think it was May, I was like, look, I've been stalled out for months. Um, is there a way, like, well, can we start ZetBound, which ZetBound is the non-diabetic version of Manjaro. I feel like I've talked about this, but I'm not really sure. Um, I talk a lot in different places, so I don't know what I've said where. Ozempic, just for easier to say it this way, Ozempic is a semaglutide. Manjaro is a trisepatide. So they do the same things, but there are different types of peptides and things like that. And I don't even like to say they're a different types of medication because in reality, they're not fully a med. They're really like a different type of... They take... Look, I'm not the expert here, but there's a different type of... They work in... They do the same thing, but they work in different ways. Now that ZepBound is a thing because it didn't used to be a thing, I think it just got FDA clearance like towards the end of last year. So I was like, now that... It's, a, it's something that, you know, is an option. Can we try that? So first I had to get prior authorization. That took a couple of weeks. And then when it finally got through for prior authorization, through the insurance, then it's out of stock. <laughs> There's a shortage of the dosage that I need. Well, Govi, every all these medications you titrate up. So you start on the small dose and then after some time you go up, you go up, you go up. I dealt with shortages with, with Wagovi as well. So at one point, there was this time where I skipped a whole dose. 
Wagobi stops at 2.4 milligrams. It just stops. There is nothing higher. I don't know why. I think there should be. But there's nothing higher. Whereas Zetbound, it goes up, I think, until 15 or 17.5. Again, pictures. So I am going from the Wagobi 2.4 to the Zetbound 10 milligram. 10 milli so 7.5, 10 milligram, and whatever's the next one up. So not the highest, but the next one have, are all on an FDA shortage list right now. And where they're supposed to be through the end of Q2, which we're now in the beginning of Q3, there's limited supply available. So I have been fighting, trying, calling all around different pharmacies Trying to find this medication. I finally got my hands on it yesterday. I drove a few towns over to get to it. Um, and so, yeah. I'm now on the Zetbound. I'm very excited because I really do believe, like I haven't really seen, and I'm, yeah, I've been, you know, I've been researching, but I haven't really seen where people are like, I haven't lost any weight on Zetbound. You know what I mean? I really feel like it'll be helpful because I'm doing all the other things. Now, do I eat like a, a complete bird? No. And so I don't deprive myself of what I want to eat. I would say that the way that I'm eating now is just I just eat smaller portions. Like I don't typically find a reason to go back for seconds. If I do, I usually regret it because I've eaten too much and my body doesn't like that. I can tell. Um, and then I'm working out most days of the week and... The only thing that I'm really like struggling is getting enough steps in because even though I might like if I'm doing the bike as my cardio, then that doesn't count as me getting in steps. It counts as cardio, but it doesn't count as me hitting my step goals. And I really, you know, everybody, everything kind of points to like, you really do need to get your minimum of 10,000. Like your goal should be 10,000 is like your baseline. Whereas my baseline where I normally end up getting on a good day is between five and 7,000 steps. But on a day where like, I'm not really doing anything like at all, like 2,000 steps, which is like, I was editing my video and I realized that I kind of just like stopped and I never came back to it. So I'm on my lunch break right now. And I just figured, let me just kind of wrap it up, put a bow on it so that I can finish up the video and get it out there. Because I don't even remember what I've kept in at this point, but I was recording that in June and we are now at the end of July. It is July 22nd. I got a half and half at Chick-fil-A. And I have a salad for my lunch that I'm probably gonna wait till I go upstairs to eat. But I don't know about your office, but my office is a complete ice box. And what is the point? What is the point? So why freeze myself? I'm sitting there in my cardigan, can't get cold, can't get warm enough. So I just wanted to give a little update since I finished my last video. So today I took my, no, today's Tuesday. <laughs> so yesterday I took my fourth dose of Zetbound. So things have been going really well. I don't know if you can tell, but as of today, or well, as of yesterday, when I stepped on the scale in the morning, I was nine pounds down. So that's really good, especially since it's gone so long with like only seeing like a two pound change and not a consistent two pound change, but like a two pounds down, two pounds back up. Now this week we're gonna give you a pound and then next week you're gonna go back up by two pounds. So from that standpoint, I've been really happy on this medication. It is a game changer. But like I said, if you feel if this is something that you're interested in me sharing more about, then I will. Again, I would like to do it when I have like a substantial amount of weight that I've lost. I have a long way to go. Um, so we definitely have time before we get there. But like I said, I share majority of any of that type of content goes on my TikTok. I was trying to, when I first started with Gobi, I was really trying to like just add that as a content pillar on my TikTok. I did not want that to bleed over onto any other platforms, but I do share a little bit here and there in my Instagram stories. But if you are interested in specifically that content, you can check that out on my TikTok. And I'd love to have you over there because I'm on TikTok. Like if I, if I showed you the graph on my phone right now where it says I'm spending all of my time, you're gonna see that it shows I spend much, most of my time on my phone on TikTok. 
Um, I am part of the TikTok shop affiliate program. So I have admittedly been sharing more content there for that purpose. I've been buying more content there for that purpose, but I've been getting good things. So um, I was already buying stuff on the TikTok shop because a lot of the times the TikTok shop can give you better deals than you'll find on Amazon, better deals than you'll find in stores. So, you know, you gotta do whichever one is the best bet for you. But I said all that to say, I really just wanted to come and put a note, uh, a period on the video so I can go ahead and get it up for you. I'm really excited because I have some other content coming next. I have an Amazon video. My Amazon videos don't do well right now on my channel, but that's okay because eventually they will come and I like making the content. So it's my channel and I'm going to post what I want to post. So eventually if people like to see that kind of content, they will. Um, I do have an Amazon storefront now, so I'm really excited about that. And I have a packing video that I need to start working on because our vacation is in moments. So I need a pack and then as soon as, and then I'll probably share some like vlogs that are while we're on vacation. And after that, y'all, fall sweet fall. We're in fall mode, so get ready. <laughs> if you're not already ready, be ready. <laughs> so thank you so much for spending time with me today. I know this video was a little bit all over the place. I intended to share more content, but it's just how it goes sometimes. But I greatly appreciate you and I'm looking forward to it being a great second half of the year on my channel and let's get right back up. Let's get to sharing. Let's get to having community and just having a good time. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye guys.